Welcome back to the Vietnam road trip adventure. Today we are heading to China to meet my friend Mr. Xi Jinping and help improve the diplomatic relations between the West and China. So we are in the Mu Kang Chang region which is just here and we are heading all the way up 200 kilometers to Lao Cai which is on the Vietnam China border and hopefully we're going to get into China today. I don't have a visa, which is going to be slightly prob problematic, but we've got plan A and plan B. You're going to find out what that is later when we get there. But first, we've got a long adventure, 200 kilometers, going to take a few hours, and we're going to explore this region, meet some locals, and then head to China. Uh, hello. I was just driving by this absolute huge machine. I had to stop. Whoa, whoa, it's amazing. <laughs> Look how many people. Right, so this is, uh, looks like corn. They grab the corn, they chuck it in there. Oh my god, they're getting sprayed! <laughs> Let's get in there! Whoa! 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 <laughs> this is amazing! Good job guys! Hello! Ciao em! Oh wow! Hello. <laughs> Ciao Chi. Ciao Ko. Ko Ko Kwe Kong. Good. The waterfall. Oh Dao. Yeah. Wh which way? This way. Okay. Okay. Come on. Okay. Th there? Oh really? Okay. Okay, come on, come on. Looks like there's a little pool over there where all the kids are playing. And I'm debating whether to go over there or not. All right, we're going off course. Side mission. Uh, hello, wait for me. <laughs> I've just seen the, lots of people playing in the river and I'm hot, look at me. So. Time to investigate and uh, see if we can go for a little river swim. Nong Gua! Choi Oi! Hello, Zavoy Du Gaba! Oh, this looks very nice. Hello! Ciao Em! <laughs> they only speak the language of laughter. Uh, hello, Ciao Em! M. Ko Kwe Kong? Here he is. Whoa. <laughs> All right, we're going in. Oh, it's cold. Whew. Whew. Oh, yeah. That's good. Troy Oi. <laughs> Ooh. Is there any fish in here? Who's, who's the best diver? 
You gonna dive? <laughs> Go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Go. <laughs> that was a belly flop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go, I'll go. I'll, I'll come on. I'm working! Who are you gonna film? You gonna film? Whoa. Video. From here? <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I do a flip. <laughs> I'm scared though, I don't know how to do it. Let go, let go. <laughs> that was good? Okay, okay. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Yeah, uh, Harry. Harry. Harry, like Harry Potter. Okay. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> your name? I'm Lum. Lum. Nice. You're from here? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy how like uh, even in even the young kids still don't know many much English at all. You would think that the, the younger generation would know English, but they don't. Very refreshing. Just what I needed. And in good company. <laughs> uh, he's uh, seven. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what age they are. Uh, your age? I'm fifteen. Four. Ah, uh, you speak English. <laughs> He looks, he looks like um, a moi. They must be, they're, they're smoking cigarettes and they must be like 15. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> you might be thinking, oh, I'm sure it's just a little part of the trip that's where you get the beautiful views. But let me tell you, well, <laughs> let me tell you, the views don't stop. It's been like this for the last 300 kilometers. Just pure beauty. I've literally run out of words to describe this place. I'm speechless. Like, it just doesn't stop. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, a little bit of a roadblock here. Come on. That can't be good. Is that for you do, Gapba? Nice to meet you. Ciao, Anne. This is beautiful. Yeah. Can I see your house? Look inside. It's very interesting. You've got the firewood here. This is made of clay. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. And then made of wood and then just got like a tin roof. And surrounded by what seems to be tea leaves. Corn in front and tea leaves. Ah, your dog. Hello. <laughs> He's scared of me. Oh, this looks like a bit of rice wine. Come on. <laughs> M10 la gay. Your name? Vamo. Vamo. Uh, M10 La Harry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll just keep this on. Cause <laughs> What's this one? From the wood? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, wow. It tastes. It smells oh. different. Okay. It tastes like wood. <laughs> it's actually a very, very nice and clean house. <laughs> Nong lam. <laughs> I can try. Why? <laughs> Is it not need more in? Yeah, yeah. Can I try?
Not you, working. You are. Yeah, they are already. No sunglasses. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm, good. Mm, good. Nice. I think he likes them. Looking good. Very good. <laughs> he looks like a Vietnamese officer, like a like a Viet Cong officer. He wants to show me his TV. Oh, very nice. Wow, that's very new. It's got such a nice TV in the middle of, in the middle of nowhere. Oh, this is the bed. Got the mosquito net. I've, uh, it's the first time I've seen a clay house, and you can see how it's actually quite thin. Very nice. This is where he wakes to, up to every morning. He has no neighbors, just tea fields and a few cornfields. It's bloody amazing. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Bye bye doggo. He must have been so confused at who <laughs> this random guy with a random camera was coming into his house. But hey, that's what life's about. Going into the unknown. I'm very interested to see what this thing is here. And there's lots of buses here. It looks like it's some kind of theme park. Let's investigate and find out what this is. We're about half an hour away from Sapa slash uh, Lao Kai. So let's, uh, let's find out what this is. Kao Kin Rong Mai. I still have no idea what this is. Oh, maybe there's a temple at the top? It's definitely a tourist attraction. Let's, uh, let's find out. Ciao Em. Uh, is this, what is at the top? Ooh. Bao new? 500. Okay. Uh, is it good? It's. Uh, uh, you can play one game free. Oh, one game for free. Oh, nice. Is it beautiful? It's very nice. Oh, day tap that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on. This way? Okay. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Chào anh. This guy's driving so fast. <laughs> this is the fastest driver I've ever seen. Oh my days. And we're up. Okay. What's going on? Where are they taking me? I'm going deep into the mountain. I believe this is one of the highest peaks in the area, so maybe I'm assuming it's going to be a viewpoint, but this is one pretty cool viewpoint. Hello, ciao ko. Ciao. Oh, this xin is it? Ciao. Uh, xin ciao. Uh, <laughs> ciao em. Uh, em ko khoe kong? Uh, em ko khoe kong? Uh, em ko. <laughs> good, good. Well, okay, we're going up. Oh, here we go. So this is the elevator that I saw on the way. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Oh, day tap day. <laughs> well, well. It's a good thing I'm not afraid of heights, because this is high. This is very high. I like the music. <laughs> okay, come on. There we go. I'm not sure if these are Vietnamese tourists or Chinese tourists. Oh yeah? This way? Yeah. Why, why not this way? Okay. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. No way. Oh dear. Oh, choi hoi. This is complete glass. This is really scary. These ladies are just doing it in the... No problems for them. So this is the road I was coming along when I saw it. Oh, this feels really weird. It just doesn't feel natural. It's the road I was coming along when I saw this place. Amazing. Oh, it doesn't get easier. It doesn't get any easier. 
This is just a sheer drop. Absolute death if anything goes wrong. Oh god. I've got to get my free activity though. <laughs> I'm telling you guys now, might not look that bad at home, but I'm not I'm not exaggerating. I'm not afraid of heights, but this is freaking hard. Really, really hard. Really I'm not I'm not exaggerating. This is terrifying. The views are incredible, but absolutely terrifying. I just don't just doesn't feel safe. I want to go back down. It's so windy as well, everything's shaking. Oh, it just keeps going. This is like 100 meters of glass walk. I've done this but oh Oh my god, this is actually really hard. Having to walk slowly. It doesn't help that I keep looking down. Yeah, I'm just gonna look ahead. No. Uh oh. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Because I'm seeing a bridge that goes across an open valley. And it looks like that's the activity, one of the activities. And you know what? I'm feeling in the mood to do it. What could go wrong? Hello. Ciao, em. Looks like these guys know what they're doing. <laughs> okay, I go. I understood that. It's okay. I've got stuff in my pocket, but what could possibly go wrong? It's safe? Oh god, why do, I, why do I do this to myself? Why do I get myself in these situations? Oh, there's also the bike, but I think the walk is, is more fun. Uh-oh. This... It's okay? Alright. Here goes nothing. See you. The steps are quite big. Oh, I regret this. Can I come back? Right, I'm gonna do it. This is to prove to you guys that you gotta get outside your comfort zone. And if I die, then, I don't know. I guess uh, you can uh, say I was stupid, but hey, this is quite fun. It's going to get a lot harder though. And it's going to take me a long time to get across here. Okay, here we go. Let's pick up some speed. One, literally one wrong foot, just a one lapse in concentration. And like, I don't know what's, I don't know what would happen because I would fall through the crack and it doesn't look like these guys are going to be much help. So I'd be hanging there for, for a long time. And it, I don't know if it's going to... Let's just hope it doesn't get to that point, hey? Oh, okay. Now I'm just like having to concentrate. I've never concentrated this hard in my life. I swear to God. I'm concentrating more than when I took my exams. This is literally life and death right here. And I haven't even taken in the views. <sighs> halfway, nearly halfway. And we're there. Oh my God. There's no one here to let me out of this. And I don't want to unclip myself. You know what, I'm gonna probably do what I'm not supposed to do, unclip myself and see if I can go around, because I don't want to go back. It seems to be a building site. What the hell? There's a pool. Oh my God, you're joking me. What the hell is this place? It's like half a building site, half a abandoned theme park. 
with a pool, a lake, and this temple thing. I'm still strapped in because I've just been walking around. Oh wow. The Vietnamese tourists are going as well. <laughs> wow, scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys are brave. Look at him go. Oh, wow. Troy <laughs> Oi. I've been. You go? No? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to head back down and carry on with the bike trip. Pretty good experience. Staff here were pretty meh. But uh, yeah, cool place. Let's carry on. Alright, we are now in the area of Lai Kao. I think that's how you say it. It's near Safa, near the China border. It's got quite chilly actually. Obviously you can see we're in the clouds. We have arrived in Lao Kai. And it's good to be here. 200 kilometers down. Gate area. Hmm, let's investigate. Well, no one's gonna stop me here. <laughs> We're so close. I can smell China. All right, that is China right there. I could literally run across. Okay, no filming allowed. We're gonna have to go incognito. Hello. What do we want? Um, this is uh, the border. Yes, sir. We have to ask the bodyguard. I can. No, no, no. Ask him. Oh yeah. Ciao, An. Um, can I go up to the... Can I uh, go up to the... No? No. This way? Why not? Go. Oh. No. <laughs> what? Okay. Thank you. As I suspected, plan A is out the window. But, plan... There is a plan B. Don't worry, everyone. Plan B is off the books. A little bit more adventurous, so it's going to be fun. Okay, I found another exit slash entry. You see, exit from Vietnam. There's a gate there. I don't have a visa, so I think the chances are extremely, extremely slim. But I just thought, you know, we'll try the legitimate way, and then if this doesn't work, we'll try we'll try other ways. But um, yeah, I got to be very careful about filming because they're very strict here. So probably we'll turn off the camera here. Okay, I went in that entrance. I didn't film this time because it was like so many signs saying don't film, and I'm not in the mood to get <laughs> arrested. Although we'll see. But um, yeah, so basically I went in and. It was like a immigration basically, so they didn't speak any English and also um, they would have checked, they wanted to see a visa, so unfortunately I couldn't do that, but. So this is the border crossing right here. And just walk across there. There's only I could cross legitimately. It's, the thing is it's open right now, but um, you need a visa. It takes a long time to get a visa. I don't think I can get a visa on arrival and nobody speaks English there. So, plan A is out the window, but we will suffice with plan B. It's gonna be way more fun, plan B, anyway. I prefer to do plan B, but yeah, pretty awesome to see this is China. You can see all the Chinese buildings, quite a lot of high-rise buildings, and then on the Vietnamese side, not many high-rise buildings, really awesome to see. But, um, yeah. And also, lots. it's interesting how um, the Chinese border they actually let Vietnamese sellers go across the border just for the day buy their products and then they come back and sell them in Vietnam but they're only allowed to stay for the day it's very interesting you can see even on the Vietnamese side we have a Chinese temple looking extremely grand I've never seen a Chinese temple like this I think it's Buddhist you see the lanterns the they look almost like samurai it's super, super beautiful, I love the, the colours. And then you can see the China gates here. Sorry, the Vietnam gate, China gate over there. Okay. Okay. As you can see, there is Chinese writing on these buildings. 
that is China just there. It's pretty awesome to see. I've never, never obviously never seen China clearly, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty built up. So obviously we do have a little bit of a river obstructing our way, but uh, I'm gonna head up into the mountains and see if there's a little route up there. But uh, this is the border belt right here. Wow. I think I can see Mr. Xi Jinping in the skyscraper up there. I'm coming, I'm coming for you, sir. Don't worry. I'm gonna save the diplomatic relations. And also, the issue is that Google Maps is completely messed up in this area because in China, they use different Google Maps coordinates to Vietnam. So the map is just very confused. It believes that the river is the other side of the border. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's just like not helping the directions, but. Okay, border gate area. See, wow, okay. So this bridge here is also another border crossing. You see all the lorries trying to cross. There's obviously so much stuff is imported from China. All right, interesting. We're crossing the river again, which means, oh no, there's still another river. <laughs> I'm going into no man's land here. <laughs> All right, we're going certainly off the beaten path, trying to get into China, but we're heading west and just like along the border, parallel to the border. So we'll see. This is it's fun, it's an adventure. Who knows what's gonna happen? Am I gonna meet Mr. Xi Jinping? Am I gonna get arrested and thrown into Chinese jail? Or am I gonna live in China for the rest of my life? Who knows? Wow, this is amazing. Those mountains just there is China. So close yet so far. And I realize that I'm very wary that I don't want this video to just be clickbait. So I'm very motivated to get across the border because uh, I don't want to just clickbait people into watching this video. It's probably where I should have researched the rules for going onto private property. Because this is definitely private property right now, but hey, it's a communist country. Anything goes, okay. Now we're gonna have to As you can see, pretty much all the way as you're heading east, we have this river that is blocking the path. And also there is a gate, there is a fence. Um, I don't really want to be <laughs> crossing a river and a fence just to get into China, but it, it really looks really developed actually over there. There's like lots of nice cars, nice hotels. Really want to go now, but it's my fault for not getting a visa. I should have got a visa but it just would have taken too long and I didn't plan that far ahead in advance. But I will come back to China one day. We're not going to give up though, because we're going to head west this time and see, because I know there's not a river west. Um, I'm not going to give up. I don't want to make this a clickbait title. So we're going to keep going until we get to China and meet my friend. See, we have some Chinese food here and even, I don't think this is Chinese, but I don't know what it is, but it's pretty impressive. Pretty amazing. I don't know what that says, but okay. Unfortunately, guys, I headed east, and this darn river and <laughs> this huge gate is in my way. But that's China right there. We're, we're as close as we ever got. But unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to cross today. I was really, really motivated enough i was really i thought i was gonna do it honestly i didn't realize that there would be a, a huge gate i mean obviously i expected there to be a, a fence but not all the way along the border and unfortunately i've just come to the wrong spot but it's a lesson learnt to get my visa next time and also unfortunately i'm just gonna have to apologize to mr xi jinping and tell him next time i'll come and warn him. I looked online and it says that there are areas of the border that aren't fenced. However, 
is all the way in Hajang. That's quite far away from here. So we have to take the L. I apologize for clickbaiting the video, but we had a good day. Uh, Lao Kai is actually really nice. And even though I wanted to come for the border, I'm glad I came anyway. It's a pretty cool area and just driving here has been the highlight of my trip. I've had an absolutely incredible trip. So thank you very much if you've watched this far. You're a legend. I again apologize for not getting into China, but I'll do it again. And I apologize to Mr. Xi Jinping as well. I let you down. All right, guys, I'm going to finish the video there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.